There's uh, possibly a light at the end of the, rain, uh, at the rainbow here, Will, and that, uh, you know, I, I see the same danger for sure because we're getting ready to get into a joint venture with the uh, County Hospital here in Chicago, and there is some preliminary uh, insistence on being able to report what's going on in the acupuncture clinic from a Western perspective. But I, I see the the rainbow here in that uh, if there's any way we can export it's already been done in China to face the same issues that they're facing in hospitals here uh, from, a, from an integrated model we might be able to save uh, not throwing out the baby with the bad boy. Regardless of how it came about, regardless of who that practitioner is, uh, this is the authentic, the authentic representation of the work, which is a, an ethical and general consideration, not just one that is directed around management of risk. And so let me ask you this, uh, Dr. Morris. Are we saying, is there a language possible? Is it possible to create a language that both uh, both parties, both sides of the aisle can actually understand in uh, the inclusion of something as simple as acupuncture um, in, within a hospital setting? Uh, or are we looking at a situation where uh, those Western physicians who perhaps want to study and understand more could take a actual course to understand uh, the language of uh, traditional Chinese medicine as a means to uh, understand the clinical applications that are going on? Uh, or are we saying that, uh, I, I, I guess the, the debate comes down to then, what is integration? Integration, it sounds like, from what you're saying, and this I think is very important, is uh, it is not the throwing together of medical systems. It is the authenticity of a given system and adhering to that system and being able to explain and peer review and psychological and methodology within a given system, regardless of which system it is. Uh, let's bring the rather wide questions to the table, but we can say that it's critical for the uh, professionally trained actors to develop their language skills in contemporary biosciences to such a degree that they be able to convey what they are doing on those terms alone. Uh, that that is, that's the point of direct. It, it is not plenty of kind of point of realm, and I don't think they're going to be able to come up with a hybridized version of the two that works for everybody. Uh, only a certain number of people are going to be interested in pursuing um, the epistemology of traditional Chinese medicine and exploring the possible benefits that an alternate point of view might provide in a clinical uh, setting. Uh, in the work integration is that it's very large and it can, and it can scale up and down. For an individual provider, it may involve the inclusion of a procedure. So for a physician, maybe they can take back from the procedures that they use their current physiological structures, their way of thinking, their way of building knowledge and clinic to arrive at the conclusion. That's fine. So that's a more integration there. We'll make the acupuncture lab work, uh, sedimentation rates, Exactly. The to inform their selection of some anti-inflammatory types of herbs. Well, we're going to take their eater, their pump, these kinds of things. So, so that's a form of integration that has been cognitively by the absorption of another method of thought or procedure. Now, integration also happens between people working on a team, and I've rarely seen this happening clinically. Usually what's going on is the practitioners are all doing their thing and there's referrals back and forth. But